This is a golden tree snake Chrysopelia ornata, and it has caught itself a monitor lizard. These snakes frequently hunt lizard, and it's just an incredible source of wonderment and amazement to me that this very slim agile climbing snake is able to swallow a lizard of this size, but they obviously do, as you will see shortly. This is on the steps leading to. There are clips that I have seen previously of monumental battles between monitor lizards and golden tree snakes, where the lizard has managed to get a bite on the snake, and neither of them is prepared to let go. And I know those battles can go on for a long, long time. This golden tree snake is diurnal, and despite being mildly venomous, not harmful to humans unless allergic. It has been observed killing some of its prey by crushing it and breaking the prey's neck. The snake is reportedly shy and fast. Usually the snake is impossible to capture when humans come in contact with it in apartments and their homes. The snake is very common and is solitary but can live within close proximity to its own species without attack. As a carnivore the golden tree snake eats small lizard, geckos, large toke gecko, often seen feeding on this species, rodents, bird eggs, insects, other snakes occasionally and bats, slowly setting about the process of swallowing this lizard. It will get stuck at the shoulders, of the front legs and the back legs, that part of the swallowing process seems to take a long time, not surprisingly. This is a mildly venomous snake, of no danger at all to humans. They do have fangs, at the rear of the mouth, that are grooved, and down which a mild venom flows into the victim presumably to help subdue it during the capture and swallowing process. Golden tree snakes are widespread in Southeast Asia, and I've found them in every part of Thailand. It's one of the snakes I see most frequently. Perhaps that's also because they are active in the daytime, and also you can find them in cities. I've many times found them in Bangkok, even quite close to the center of Bangkok. They eat a variety of prey items in addition to these lizards. They'll eat other kinds of lizards, apparently rodents and even other kinds of snakes as well, although I have not seen that personally. I have seen one enter a nest quite high up in a tree and clearly swallow either hatchlings or eggs. Although I suspect it was young birds that it was taking from that nest, despite being mobbed by the parent birds and very interestingly by many other kinds of birds as well. There were many birds that were clearly concerned about having that snake there, even though it wasn't their nest and they all kind of joined in and tried to drive it away. Unsuccessfully I must say, and in other locations I've also seen birds particularly minor birds get very agitated if they see one of these golden tree snakes in their vicinity. Small individuals of this species seem to have a relatively mild disposition, but large ones fully grown adults have always been very aggressive in my experience and will strike and bite readily. Just look at the way that the neck of this snake has been able to expand to perhaps two or three times its normal size. Those scales that we can see there would normally be overlapping, but they're clearly mounted on a flexible skin underneath. That has pulled apart to allow this monitor lizard to pass down the otherwise narrow, normally narrow neck of this snake. You can see there are a number of black bands on the head of this snake, and you can see those bands very clearly on a shed skin, 
so it's quite helpful if you find skin in and around your house if you live in Asia. This is one of the snakes that you can very easily identify from the shed skin. I have a house in the countryside and have a lot of this, a lot of this species living in a hollow wall in that house, and there's one particularly big one there. Although it's supposed to grow up to about 30 centimeters in length, I measured a skin from that individual at 70 centimeters. Now skin stretches when snakes shed the skin. This group of snakes, this genus that the golden tree snake belongs to, are also sometimes called flying snakes. Now they can't fly in the true sense of the word, but they can glide. And they do this by pulling their belly scales into a concave shape and basically swimming through the air. They leap out of one tree perhaps into another or even down onto the ground. The blazing Thai sun is enough to make anybody irritable. I'm sure this snake wants to get on with this and get away as quickly as possible. I have cut this video down to only about 8 minutes but the entire process actually took a full hour. Before the tail finally slid into the snake's mouth, and then it slowly made its way away and then went vertically up a tree even with this large lizard in its belly it was able to climb they are phenomenal climbers an escape artist extraordinary